Hi Libra, welcome to your reading. If you're new to the channel, I do timeless readings, which means that whenever you find this video is when you're meant to hear the messages within it. And in case you subscribe, I upload my new videos for Aries and Libra on Mondays. So actually, that's the second time because I filmed Aries right before this and I wanted to say Tuesday both times. So something might actually be happening uh, for you tomorrow if you're watching this as it's coming out or just like on Tuesday or the next Tuesday. Uh, if you know an Aries, pass it on. Uh, but <laughs> I think that, you know, you guys might be having some kind of a lining up or something. It feels very important because I've almost said it twice. But like I was saying, I almost got into the reading just then. But in case you subscribe, I upload your videos on Mondays. And just one second here. The deck that I'm using is called the Kawaii Tarot. And as always, if you guys are interested in getting a personal reading, my information is in the description below. So I usually try to get roughly eight cards and it looks like we have all eight. So it looks like we're ready to start on your reading, but I do just wanna give you guys a quick reminder that in case you enjoy the reading or if it really resonates with you guys, the best way to let me know is by leaving a like or a comment. But it looks like your overall energy here is the Ten of Cups, which is actually a really awesome energy to have. The Ten of Cups is all about happiness and emotional fulfillment. So I think that for a lot of you guys, you've been kind of in a stump or a rut of some kind. And honestly, I feel like you probably feel like these cards because I'm trying to center them in the shot and it's proving to be a little bit more difficult than I thought. And I think that's how you guys are feeling is that things don't quite line up the way that you would like them to. And, you know, especially with this Five of Swords, things have been a little bit complicated or a little bit conflictive. But I think that you're really starting to get to a point where you can really move past that. Because like I said, your overall energy is the Ten of the Ten of Cups, which is that emotional happiness, fulfillment. You know, I feel like especially because you have the five of swords here the five of swords is this card of petty arguments and i feel like there might be a lot of people who are talking behind your back and it feels very very much like things are both petty and like compliments because that's kind of the energy that i get from the five of swords especially since we have the cup right underneath it. And I think I actually called it the five of cups uh, on accident. I may have, but you know, this feels like there may have been some conflict with a possible love interest and things are kind of resolving themselves. And I don't, you know, I feel like that would be very conductive into causing sort of this 10 of cups energy. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you might be reuniting with someone. Um, especially if they're an earth sign, because I'm seeing this queen of pentacles and the queen of pentacles, you know, it represents a lot of those earthly qualities. Um, you know, it's representative of Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. So, you know, this person is very sort of earthly. They have probably some very good money management skills. They like to be stable. So these are kind of, these are the people that have you know, well, I don't want to lay out a blanket statement, especially because oftentimes if you have like a fire moon and like a water Venus and like this, that, and the other, and this element and that element, and like your sun is only in an earth sign, then you're not obviously not going to resonate too much with earth signs. But, you know, these people typically like stability. They like having their own place. They like having their own things. Um, they like having nice things, right? And they like taking care of them. But I feel like more than that, they have sort of this wealth spring of energy and this wealth spring of life. Even though they're slow moving, they like to do things right. Um, 
Also physically, these people tend to be a little bit more on the plump side, you know, very voluptuous, very thick. So especially if you guys are into that, then, you know, good, good for you. But it looks like with this, you're doing a lot of healing, especially if it's a person here in your life. And it might not even be a romantic person. It might just be like, somebody who comes into your life and teaches you a lot of things about yourself that you maybe didn't even know. Um, because the Nine of Wands talks all about healing. I think that you guys have perhaps some, some wounds or something in relation to, or like some growing pangs, um, in relation to your money or stability. And I think that with this Four of Swords here and this Queen of Swords, it's looking like you guys need to kind of take your time, right? I feel like you guys need to invoke a little bit more of this Queen of Pentacles energy and sort of take your time, make a slow and steady approach. Like, the Swords tend to be a lot faster and like the Wands tend to be way faster than the Pentacles because the Pentacles are the slowest moving cards in the deck and that feels very much like a Tortoise and the Hare kind of energy. Um, Right, and I feel like now is kind of the time to take it slow because we have this Four of Swords, which is all representative of all kinds of rest, you know, relaxation. I think that for a lot of you guys, you maybe aren't sleeping well, so take your time to sleep, get your things done early. Um, with this Queen of Swords, I feel like you should try to invoke those qualities as much as you can, especially because, you know, you, you guys are an er, er, air sign, right? And the Queen of Swords is representative of air signs. And I feel like you'll feel kind of like at home. You'll feel a lot more like comfortable. I feel like a lot of you guys lately have kind of gone very far out of your comfort zone, doing new things, trying out new stuff, probably like at work or at love or like, I feel like a lot of you have just been really out there and really trying new, new things. And now it'll be kind of nice to kind of come back to your home base here with this queen of swords and kind of do what you know best for a little bit recharge your batteries and then maybe go back out because i see this five of, uh this five of swords that i kind of talked about earlier where you guys may have been the result of some kind of a gossip right like it feels like like normally i would talk about arguments with this energy but it feels like gossip right now so i think a lot of people are gossiping about you and honestly it doesn't necessarily even feel like a bad thing because i see this ace of cups and it feels like people are honestly kind of saying nice things about you um you might be running into a lot of people who you know kind of say rude things to your face and then say nice things behind your back and I'm getting the phrase like I'll never understand those people. So I think that you guys have kind of had a pattern of those of having those kinds of people in your life and it's like why are they even here? Why are you like this or whatever? But you know, I feel that like at the end of the day, even if people are saying bad things about you, you have the ace of cups which is like a new beginning in love and your emotions and then you have the 10 of cups which is an ending which is the happiness the fulfillment the completion so you have the completion going into that new beginning which feels very powerful to me and not only that this is com this is um progression you also have the four going to the five of swords which is also progression so it feels like things are going to really pick up their speed right now i'm hearing sort of that energy sort of like that sound of where like people start like snapping like this to like in initiate that like things are moving faster and it's like get ready because your engines are revving right now and i think that with this six of pentacles you're going to run into a lot of people that offer you like a helping hand you know the six of pentacles here i like to or normally i think about it as like offering somebody some kind of financial stability or some financial help but it feels like somebody's trying to extend the olive branch to you right they're trying to help you they're just trying to be nice um I think that honestly, a lot of you guys might not be used to that and might actually like question why like they would do something like that, why they would like what do they stand to gain or whatever. But I feel like there's just people who want to be your friend or who want to help and they're trying to make like a positive impact on your life. And I think that you should also do the same because I see the star card in reverse. So the star card, first of all, is representative of Aquarius. Um, I think that a lot of you guys might be having some bad luck with Aquarians. Um, that's just like an offshoot. But with this, it feels like you're trying to really reach a goal. 
And you're not going to reach that goal if you're not in the Six of Pentacles energy. You're not going to be able to go to where you want to go by being sort of this mean, um, unapproachable person who keeps everything to themselves. This, like, the Six of Pentacles with the Star card in reverse feels like a Christmas Carol in a nutshell, right? It feels like old Scrooge McDuck or Scrooge. Um, I just told, I just said like the DuckTales version, but this to me feels like energy where you're keeping everything to yourself. You're not really participating in the six of pentacles energy. And that's why you're sort of blocking yourself from your star moment, right? That was a very convoluted way of saying what I wanted to say, but that's the energy that I feel like you guys are finding yourselves in. So be as generous as you can. Don't be, um, a penny pincher and I feel like you're going to find that a lot more abundance comes your way but that was your reading first time around Libra if you guys enjoyed please leave a like or a comment because it really helps out the channel and I personally really love to know if these readings resonate with you guys but like I said before I upload my new videos for Libra and Aries on Mondays but in the meantime you guys are more than welcome to watch any of my other timeless readings that I have up on the channel and with that being said I hope to see you guys next time for next reading but before that I do just want to point out that I saw 1111 on the timer right as it got there. So with that being said, I like to see you guys next time.